What is up my YouTube friends? I did a video a while back about starting a scheduled live stream on YouTube. And a lot has changed since then. YouTube has introduced a completely new dashboard and live streaming studio. So I wanted to update that video and show you how to start a scheduled live stream in OBS with the new YouTube studio features in 2020. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. To schedule our live stream, you want to go to your YouTube studio and click this live streaming button right here. Once you click the go live button, you're going to come up to this screen right here and you want to click in the top right schedule stream. Now if you've done a live broadcast before, you're going to see it listed in here. And you can just select that and it's going to reuse the settings exactly like they are and all you have to do is change the time that you want to schedule it for. But for this one, we're going to create a new one. So I'm going to click create new and now I can create a title. I can make it listed, unlisted, or private. I can add my description in here fully. You notice a lot of my description is already finished. You can do this in your default description area, and you can check that out if you wanna look at this video right here. So I'm gonna update my description, and I'm going to go ahead and schedule this for when I want it to go live. And I just picked the date and the time. It's really simple. I can upload a custom thumbnail, I just go out and pick a thumbnail that I want and click open and I can select whether it's made for kids or not. You know how to do all this. We're going to click create stream. So now we have a live stream scheduled. So when it's time to start your broadcast, you're going to come back in here and you'll notice on the left hand side, manage is selected. If you select manage, you should be able to see your scheduled live stream. Now I just click on the title of that live stream and it brings me into the actual dashboard for it. And right here, you're going to see all the stream settings. This stream key is the one that we're going to put into OBS to guarantee that we're actually going to be starting this exact broadcast at the right time. So all I have to do is go ahead and click copy next to the stream key, and then I go into OBS, and we're going to go to settings in the lower right hand corner, and here we want to select stream. Make sure we have YouTube, YouTube gaming, or whatever it is that you plan to stream to, because this is kind of important. We want the primary ingest server, and then we're just going to highlight the stream key that's already here, and we're going to paste in our stream key that we just took out of our page. And we can click OK, and now we're all set. So all we have to do is go over here to the right-hand side and click Start Streaming. And if we go over into YouTube, you're going to see that that page is starting to receive our stream, and it says it's excellent condition. And you'll see the little green light and you'll see the little blue go live button in the top right light up like a Christmas tree. And that means that as soon as it is time for your scheduled live stream, if you click go live, you're going to be going live on your scheduled live stream. It's that easy. If you're interested in having someone remotely produce your live streams, well, it's really easy. You should check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.